Hey guys, just wanted to walk you through uh, my brand new Marmot Plasma 15 degree bag. This is the bag that I will be using on my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. Uh, so just wanted to do a quick overview so you guys could take a look at it. Uh, it comes in this, uh, this kind of mesh sack. Um, I have no issues with that. Some people um, don't like the mesh sack because they say it can get dusty and allows dirt in, but maybe it does. I don't know. It doesn't really bother me too much, but this is what it looks like in the sack that it comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pretty much, I'm going to pack it up in the uh, stuff sack that it comes in just so you can get an idea as to how small it packs down um, in just a typical stuff sack. Um, and I'm going to let you see that. And then I'm going to walk you through the bag and some of the features of the bag. Um, so just give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. The, this is the bag stuffed in the stuff sack that comes with it. Um, as you can see here, next to a Nalgene bottle. Um, pretty small. Um, you can definitely pack it down smaller into a compression sack, but I, I, n I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that. It's already packed down pretty small just in the stuff sack, but uh, whatever you want to do. So. Uh, great, great size here in the stuff sack. So now I'm going to just uh, open it up and let you take a look okay, at it. Okay, so here is the bag. It is out of the stuff sack. I've given it a few minutes just to get its normal loft. So you can take a look and see. 900 filled down. So that's that's a pretty premium down. Obviously, it. I don't think it gets any better than that. 900 filled down. Uh, I've never owned a 900 filled down bag, so I'm not sure... Um, you know, I've never tested it out, but I'm pretty excited. My last bag was a zero degree bag, 850 degree, 850 down bag, um, by Marmot. It was a zero degree bag, so I've transitioned to this to save the weight. So 900, 900 fill, uh, goose down. Um, it has a vertical baffle system, as you can see here. Um, I've read up about this. And some people like it, some people aren't as big of fans, but it's, I think it's really personal preference. Um, I think, obviously, this bag is beautiful, um, so I haven't been able to test it out and use it yet, so I will be doing a review here in the future to kind of give you um, an actual post-use uh, review. This is, like I said, more of an overview. Um, also, just to give you some more uh, specifics regarding the, the bag here, it's a... Uh, the actual bag is made from an ultralight and durable 10 denier Pertex Quantum fabric. Um, it's got a wrap around foot box uh, construction which incorporates flow design. Um, so it's, it's supposed to give you a little bit higher foot box. You can actually tell there just from looking at it. Um, this is the six foot uh, regular length bag. I'm just barely under six feet, so this bag is going to be a little tight. For me, I typically use long bags, but I really wanted the extra weight savings, so hopefully it won't be too tight. Now, it does fit me quite well, um, and it's tight around the shoulders, which is what I like with a good down bag. So it should keep me plenty warm enough uh, during the colder months on the Appalachian Trail. I'm looking forward to, to that. Uh, it is um, it is really soft to the touch. This fabric is really cool. Um, I, I'll have to see how durable it actually is. Um, but I, I haven't read any negative re reviews about that. It does have a full length zipper, um, that runs all the way down to almost the end. Um, it's got a insulated draft tube. Um, what else? Insulated collar with an with a cord that you can adjust on the inside. I'm going to show you those here in just a second. It's got a Velcro face mask, uh, so it Velcros at the top. Um, it also has two buttons that I noticed as well. So uh, now I'm just going to kind of show you here. It's got this adjustment on the outside that allows you to pull the face in tight. So you're, you know, however you like that, if you want it super tight or if you don't like the claustrophobic feeling, you don't have to do that as well. Um, the zipper, um, some people complain that it does snag. 
I have noticed this. Um, but, you know, I think it's one of those things where the more I use it, uh, the better I'll be with it. Another thing I'm not a huge fan of, and I'm sure most bags are like this, but you can zip this all the way down, and when you do, it comes off um, real easy down here, and the, it separates. And to get it back in line and to hook it back up, I, I've i struggled really get it. It's not real easy. Um, so I would just make sure that you don't zip it all the way down. That would be a pain in the butt in the middle of the night if if that came undone, trying to toss and turn, turn your light on and get that attached. So I wouldn't recommend zipping it all the way down. Um, so just to open it up, it's real, I mean, this bag is beautiful. I mean, I, I definitely like the look of it. Um, hopefully it's as functional as it is beautiful. Um, it's got the collar here. Um, it's got an adjustment on the inside as well that allows this to be pulled real taut around your neck, right above your shoulders. It has this pillow that's kind of built in. I would, if you really like to have uh, extra padding under your head, this is really not going to do much of anything. It is kind of puffy, but it is not, I mean, it's just... It just puffs up. That's it. When you put your head on there, you're going to go right down to the ground uh, or to your sleeping pad. Um, I do like the hood. Um, I really wrestled with whether or not I wanted to go with a hoodless bag. I've never had a hoodless bag or just a more traditional sleeping bag. But at 1.87 pounds, which is what this bag checks in at, um, you know, I just figured I'd go with the extra comfort. My pack weight is already so low anyways. Uh, at about nine pounds base weight that I didn't mind carrying an extra few ounces for possibly a little bit more comfortable uh, bag. So uh, I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, really cool bag and I really like it so far from just what I've been able to see. Um, so hopefully this uh, this overview has been informative. If you have any questions, uh, just leave some comments or questions below. Thanks for watching.